For Mahmoud Sarsak's family, time is running out. They say he's lost 30 kilograms since going on hunger strike three months ago, seeking an end to his detention without charge. Israel says he was active in the armed group Islamic Jihad. His family say that's absurd. He spent his time either playing football, helping our dad with his business, or studying. He was in the third year of university. He didn't have time to belong to any group, so Israel's lying. Mahmoud Sarsak, on the left here, played for Palestine's national team while still a teenager. He was arrested three years ago while travelling to the West Bank to play professional football. It was on this very makeshift pitch that Mahmoud Sarsak learnt his first footballing skills. Now those skills took him abroad and some say he was destined for a career in Europe. But it all came to an end in 2009. Since then, his family haven't seen him. We are all worried about Mahmoud. We're sick with worry. His hunger strikes really affected us. After three years, don't I have the right to see him, like any Israeli mother whose son is in jail? Last month, there were celebrations as Palestinian prisoners ended a hunger strike after a deal including prison visits for Gazan families. But Sarsak's lawyer says he was excluded from the agreement. Israeli security sources told Al Jazeera, because of a lack of clear evidence to take him to criminal trial and because of the risk that he poses, Sarsak is held as an illegal combatant according to the law of illegal combatants. We do have uh, concern about his health condition and we are uh, hoping that uh, he will be uh, treated in according to the uh, uh, Fourth Geneva Convention and uh, after this visit, we are sharing our concern uh, with, the, with the concern authority. Across Gaza, murals commemorate those that die fighting Israel as martyrs. Mahmoud Sarsak's family insist he was never a fighter and pray his image won't become a permanent feature on the walls of their town. Nadim Barber, Al Jazeera, Rafah in the Gaza Strip.